New into stock, we've got a really nice car here, Mercedes-Benz C-Class 2.1 C250 CDI AMG Sport Edition, Premium Plus, 7 G-Tronic. It's a saloon, 2014 on a 14 plate, has pan roof, sat nav, full service history, um, done 30,331 miles. Fuel economy, urban is uh, 45.6, extra urban 65.7, and combined is 56.5. 0-60 time of 7.1 seconds, top speed of 149 miles per hour out of a 201 brake horsepower 16 valve engine. Six month road tax £77 and uh, 12 months is only 140 MOT until the 29th of the 6th 2019. I'll just show you around the car. When I first went to Mercedes in 1994, people used to pay extra to have the grill replaced with the, the one with the massive Mercedes-Benz emblem in. That's all standard now. Really nicely finished off with the chrome trims as well. Front spoiler there. We've got uh, the AMG alloy wheels and it's the five double spoke ones. They look really nice, easy to clean as well. Not, not down there with a toothbrush. You've got uh, folding door mirrors, the chrome window surround, chrome trim along the bottom little uh, sill extensions there. I'll just show you in the back. Nice big boot. You've also got two little uh, handles here. If you pull those, the back seat will just fold flat. It's like plenty, plenty of room in here. The warning triangle. Oops. The little lip spoiler on the edge of the boot. Reversing sensors here and the car's also got a reversing camera and uh, the nicely finished chrome tip on the exhaust. Really nicely finished off in the back here and not claustrophobic at all. The rear passengers have their own sunroof uh, above them so nice and light, lovely area. Rear centre armrest. This flips up like so, click that, and your cup holders come out. You've got space, put your mobile phone and oddments in. That folds away nicely, doubles as an armrest. Um, carpet mats, it's, it's like absolutely brand new in the back here. I'll just take you for a ride. First thing, get the heater on. Two remote keys here, little slot on the dashboard. It's not keyless go and it's not uh, keyless entry, it's remote. Now it had to happen, but um, we always check the service histories on vehicles just to make sure they have been stamped. It is so easy these days to get a stamp on the internet and then just make your own service history up. So due diligence, we, we, we try and do our best to make sure the car we're selling is exactly as we describe. Um, so with cars these days, they, they, most of them have, instead of having a service book, they have a digital service history, which you're supposed to be able to ring the dealers or the manufacturers and, and, and get all the details. As I say, it did have to happen. Mostly you ring them and they're busy doing other things, uh, booking services in and, and things like that. But we rang Mercedes-Benz only to be told that they couldn't give us the service information due to the new data protection rules, which is absolutely ridiculous. But anyhow, we managed to track it down anyway. We've got invoices for these two. Uh, that one was done at Mercedes-Benz Crawley on the 14th of the 1st, 2016 at 20,574 miles. And then thereafter, 24th of the uh, 3rd, 17, Dellsview of Hellfield, and as I say, we do have the invoices. And then the 8th of the 4th, 2018 at 27549, Dale's view of Hellsfield again. So that's, uh, actually, I'll just, I'll just turn that over because uh, that'll, <laughs> that's your service book. You get it, they, they give you a service book, stamp it for the PDI, and then nothing else, which, which is, I, I really I think it's ludicrous. There's nothing better than seeing a proper service book. It's even better if it's got the invoices as well and you can actually see what's been done and what parts have been uh, fitted. But I'll, I'll just take you for a ride in this. And um, 
I, I spent many happy years working at Mercedes-Benz and when I was a salesman I was entitled to a C-Class. This would have been the specification that, um, that, that I would have ordered in black with black interior. Um, the only thing I would have had different was probably a wooden leather steering wheel but uh, this, this is beautiful, it's got a pan roof, very very good heater, we've got heated seats. I'll just show you before we set off. There we go, we've got height and reach adjustable steering wheel, power folding door mirrors. Inside is very, very nice, got electric seats, although you have to move backwards and forwards using the, the old ratchet and the handle start, but the backrest is uh, electrically controlled and so is the heat height adjuster. We've got lumbar support here, which is a, a lever. We've got sat nav, it's got Bluetooth hands-free, it's got um, audio streaming, and uh, there we go, proper sunroof that opens up, but with, with it being a dual roof, you get the same effect as a pan roof, but you can still operate it as a, as a sunroof. There you go, goes all the way back as well. This car drives so nice. Um, you can have the bigger alloy wheels, which look better, but then the car doesn't drive as nice. These wheels are very, very nice. We've just had them uh, refurbished as well, so they are like absolute brand new. The AMG five spoke and the spokes are double spoke, easy to clean, and it uh, it really looks an eyeful. This car handles great but there's no compromise with the, with the wheels. It's comfortable as well. It doesn't tram line when you're braking and follow the road and you, you can't feel every little single bump in the road. It's a very, very comfortable ride. So we've got the sat nav there. It's uh, because we're low on fuel, it's trying to direct me to the nearest fuel station, which is, which is very good. Just try and knock that off. So there you go. And uh, if I click on there, the menu comes down. There you go. And then we can go on to audio or telephone. There's telephone. If I go, in fact, if I turn it up. Oh, that's, I didn't think that was on my iPhone. That's on the radio there. Lovely gearbox. This is the specification um, I like. I've gone off Mercedes-Benz a little bit since it started fitting the gear stick uh, where your wiper stalk should be. Uh, this has got the old style gear stick in. You can uh, change gear like so, change down, just by knocking it across if, if you so desire, or just leave it in automatic. The heat is tremendous. It's, 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 it's so hot in here now. As you can see, the, the, the steering. Excellent. We've got the uh, speed sign recognition there as well. It's just showing me 50 here, but it keeps, unfortunately, it keeps flipping to uh, tell me I'm on re reserve fuel. Nice aluminium spokes here on the multifunction steering wheel. Your Heated seats are there. Just put that on, but turn it down. Indicators on the left, just below the indicators, you've got your cruise control and also speed limiter. Speedtronic limit. I do like the C-Class. 
they're usually pretty economical as well. Enough room for me. And uh, this is really, really nicely finished. So with the Alcantara, the Artico leather, contrast stitching, which is in white and blue. Then you've got the brushed aluminium insets to the dash and the door cards, and also the gear tunnel. 12 volt sockets there. Just give it a bit of gas. There's cruise control, so if I just knock that up, we've gone to 70 there. I need it to uh, change actually, so as we can see how many revs we're doing, so we'll get that into top. Just give it a bit of a helping hand there. And we are doing 70 miles an hour at about 1600 revs. So, just join the traffic here. It looks like there's going to be a queue up there, and I don't want to be cutting in front of anybody. Nice display. We'll just take that back to nav. There we go. So, back on nav with a map. Audio, and then if I click on audio, there we go, auto store, that's the radio. It's uh, quarter to 12 at the moment, and uh, it, it looks like about nine o'clock at night out. Nice thick steering wheel, sports steering wheel. And uh, armrest here. Switch on the side. We've got a, looks like a, an old iPhone lead. So in there, yeah, we've got a connector. There's a, we've got two of them. Three of them, and they all look the same. Also USB in there, it's got start stop there which will knock off straight away. Your instrument uh, cluster, fuel gauge on the left, then you've got coolant temperature speedo with your information display in the, the center there and your your uh, speed limit recognition 30 at the moment tells you what gear you're in the time and uh, we've got a couple more things there just okay rev counter on the right uh, 30,366 miles and it's telling you your um, the distance you've covered that's you put digital miles per hour up there digital speedo then your trip computer and then your eco display that fills up with green bars there acceleration constant coasting and uh, miles to gallon Seats are nice and comfortable as well, hold you in, sports style. Back seats are great. That's your folding door mirror switch. Your headlight switch is here, it's on auto headlights at the moment. Electric window switches, and that's four of them. They all work. Just flick that over to the right, and 
yes that door mirror works over to the left one that's working as well that, that's it I was just struggling to find the uh, I thought there might be a separate blind switch but that's it it's all uh, one switch combined for the sunroof operation and the blind I uh, much prefer it with the blinds open makes it nice light and airy in the cabin let's just say we'll go to Absolutely starving. There you go, click on audio and then dial down to Bluetooth audio. It's, it's a little bit more complicated than it needs to be, in my opinion. Uh, you see BT audio in the bottom there. No Bluetooth connected. There you go, it's activated it now. Go on, lady. So there you go, that's the audio streaming. There's control in the sec in the centre like the uh, the iDrive. You go to it gives you a choice of media. It does seem to be more complicated than it needs to be. The uh, heated seats warming up nicely as well there. Turn that down. When we just stop, I'll show you how to use the sat nav and also pay your mobile and uh, stream audio. What, a, what an idiot. WN10ORG. There's old dogs and there's kids on this car park and there's massive divots in the, the thing because of idiots like him. 